What's happening, my good people? This is Ella from KSound.com. And real quick, I had a viewer, a really good viewer, that asked me how to do a bass drop in Studio One. So real quick, I want to show you guys how to do that. And to achieve this, it can be any sound. Be, you know, just as long as it's long enough to sustain. So let's check this. Uh, let's see what else we have. That works. Sounds more bassy. Not that the other ones won't work, but, you know, we're going to go for that one. So, right now, we're going to go here and create a a bar long region here. We're going to double click there, and then uh, we're going to start here, and we're going to make this base note here, C3, a bar long. Okay. And basically, I mean, it's just real simple to, to create a bass drop here. So I'm going to click over here to pitch bend here, down here at the bottom. And might want to resize that to get a, a, a bigger real estate so you can see what you're doing. So say, for instance, I create a node right here. And I can create another node down here because this is going to be where everything drops. So this this feels like it's a long drop. So let's see what that sounds like. And it's really that simple. And so I guess you can get creative. You can create a curve if you if you click in the middle. And the curve is basically controlling the slope, you know, how, I guess, how quick. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, it basically controls the speed of the drop. You know, and that's that's pretty much it. So um, <laughs> I have nothing else to show. That's. You know, and then, then if you want to uh, bag it up some, you know, say you don't want it that long, you can definitely do that. Move your node back and, you know, that type of thing. All right. Say you want to make a bass drop out of a wave sound instead, instead of doing it from the instrument perspective. Let's go ahead and mute this. And so I found a, a loop here that I want to go with here. You know, just something simple. Like a, a one note. Let's go with that. All right. So we we at the second bar here. And we're going to bring our locator here. Right. Now, in order to achieve this, you will actually have to do something like this you have to actually send this to the sample one and it's going to pull up this here is this is this is like another another plug-in instrument whatever you want to call this here but it, it deals with samples by itself all right so so basically what's going on here is i sent this here this sample here to this this plug-in the sample one plug-in and I will still have to achieve the MIDI deal, you know, inserting the MIDI note here because this is the only way that it works, you know, achieving the, the pitch down or the bass drop effect. But um, it's pretty cool because now you know that you can use any sample or any instrument from any, you know, MIDI, MIDI instrument or whatever. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do. So, uh, again, we're going to go here and we're going to create a region here. All right. And then we're going to go here, we're going to double click on here and you know what I mean? And so we're going to go for, we're going to, first we're going to turn this down some, we're going to go for C3 as before and you can go, let's, let's go for something else just, just to show you variation and you don't have to, you know, only be stuck on that one note. So bam, there you go. Let's mute this. All right. 
same process here. Let's create a a, a, a node here for, for your pitch bin and put one down here. We're going to change our two here just so we can pull it down. So basically what we experience here is like it's halfway through. Like why is it doing that? What you actually have to do is you have to go back to sample one and you actually have to tell it. You have to give it instructions. How many octaves down do you want it to go? So we're going to go for 24 octaves. Say if I did 12, it'll still cut me off. Let's say if I do 32. Okay, it, it, will, it will only let me go to 24. So that's pretty much how you can achieve the bass drop. And if you need this effect for any instrument, that is anything that you're doing, this is the same way. Um, I have another video specific to the tape stop effect. So what I did was I took a whole sample, a whole song that I was working on and just, um, you know, bounced it out in that one section. It brought it back in and this, this you know, wherever that, that section was, and I put it right there. And I sent it to the sample one and I was able to achieve the tape stop effect right here. And this is the same way that you can achieve that. And so, but this video is specific to bass drop. <laughs> so either way, you know, these techniques and ideas are pretty cool. However you want to use them. I hope that you learned something from this. Again, this is Ellup from ksound.com. And remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.